Living in America as a black person, you recognize there is one set of laws for you and one set of laws for those, especially in the white community. In our book, Passive Aggressive Racism in the System of White Supremacy, I take you through times in my life when I first started noticing white supremacy. We teach you how to recognize it, identify it, and also counter it in our book. This book is a beginner's course for those that are just starting to wake up and open their eyes to see the system of white supremacy. As a black American person, you must understand this system because this system is life or death to you. How you handle it, how you deal with it, it can affect your mental health if you don't understand this system. Pick up our book, Past Aggressive Racism and the System of White Supremacy, today on Amazon. Well, recently, Joe Biden had his State of the Union address. And I kind of talked about this a little more extensively um, in our podcast, but I want to home in today on just one little part. In his State of the Union speech, he made sure to give his allegiance to the police. You don't believe me? Let's watch this clip. We should all agree the answer is not to defund the police. It's to fund the police. Fund them. Fund them. Fund them with resources and training. Resources and training they need to protect our communities. I ask Democrats and Republicans alike to pass my budget and keep our neighborhoods safe. Well, black people, black people, black people. I remember during that election and you just said, oh, I just got to get that Trump out. Oh, that Trump. Oh, boy, that Trump. Okay. You got him out. He gone. You voted for the, for the police. You saw how your Democrats was clapping. We already know how the Republicans feel. Throw them out of it. We talking about your friends, the Democrats. And not only he said he going to fund them, he kept saying it over and over and over that they're going to fund the police. The same entity that you was out there marching against in 2020 when they set up there and, and don't they done the George Floyd, the same entity that's the enforcement wing of white supremacy that makes sure to try to suppress black people and harm black people, that same entity. And he got up there and said that he's going to fund them, fund them, fund them. That's exactly what he said. Now I said, it's not about funding. It's about punishing. You need to punish the police because it's not like when the police pull you over and like, well, you know, because they defunded me, I'm not going to, shoot this black person 20 times in the back, you know, cause he took away the funding. No, it is the punishing. It's also getting rid of the qualified immunity. And these Democrats have failed you. And a lot of you have ducked your head in the sand. You don't want to speak up. You don't want to even say, yeah, I, 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 I voted for him. And some of you have, and some of you have clearly come out and said, I regret what I did. Look at what I did. I regret that many of you have said that you're going to hashtag sit it out. Some of you even going to say that you're going to hashtag protest vote because you was angry at what the Democrat party has done you specifically. And when you got gatekeepers whose, whose job is to get you to keep these people in power, Joy Reid, Roland, and yeah, I, I, I got a whole podcast I'm about to make about Roland because what I said about Roland in 2020, I was right and it happened. So yeah, that's coming. So get ready for that podcast by Roland. Uh, it, I, I'll just write about that. And I'm not even mad at Roland when I say this. I'm not mad at him because he been doing what he's doing. I'm also going to talk about y'all, not him, y'all. Anyway, the, the Congressional Black Caucus is another one. They'll clapping too. They'll clapping for that because they're not for black people. They're for, they for the, the Democrat party. 
Understand? I mean, that, that was very sickening. Like, of course, the progressive wing of the party was very upset by this. You know, your uh, Corey Bush and your AOCs and your Rashida Tlaib and all them, they was upset by this, of course. They didn't clap for it. I was watching, you know, Rashida Tlaib look very aggravated uh, by that. But yeah, I mean, who y'all thought Biden was? Biden and Mitch McConnell are cool. Mitch McConnell wouldn't be cool with Biden if they didn't think alike. Like, come on now. You ever heard that statement? Birds of a feather flock together. I know you heard that before. So why did y'all think he, this is the same 1994 crime bill, Joe Biden. That's him. Why did y'all think that he was going to be so much better? This guy have a proven record of harming black communities. Trump, crazy as he was, he didn't put together any policies to mass incarcerate black people. He didn't do that. Joe Biden did. Well, I don't like how he, he was crazy. I don't like he supports the, I don't care what he supports. I prefer you openly support somebody and let me see you versus you just like Trump, but you undercover with it. You all like hiding and doing this. Hey, how y'all doing? And hugging you and, and being your event, but you support these people too behind the scenes. Malcolm X told you the, the liberal was more racist than the conservative. Malcolm X told you that. I didn't say it. Malcolm said it. And you regard Malcolm as one of our greatest leaders, right? But yet you won't listen to one of, one of our greatest leaders that the Democrats is the most racist. Look at everything this man has done since he's been in office. He has done for everybody else except black folk. As I told you before, dogs in America are federally protected and you're not. Abuse a dog. They got a federal law about that now. They have no federal law about you. You've been suffering in this country for 500 years and there's no federal laws protecting black people at all. So, as I said many times before, in the words of Soldier Boy, as he told Kanye West, what you gonna do? What you gonna do? You can't, you can't go back and change 2020 but you surely can do something in 2022. And the reason why he, he that whole message had Dean mission black folk, even the most hardcore democratic shields have been like, Hey, wait a minute. Hold on. He mentioned black people and they just floored now by this. We're going to fund the police deal because that whole message was to get white folks on his side. He done with y'all. He done with black folk because how he feel. I got y'all already. I ain't worrying with you. I ain't got to give you nothing because all you're going to do is come back and vote for me again. But yet I gave the Afghan refugees millions of dollars. I just gave, you know, all kind of money to, to the Ukraine. Right. I, I, I sit up there and I made sure that the Asian uh, population is protected federally. And I even gave them uh, money. Then in New York, the Democrats just gave them $10 million. Right. But I thought that we couldn't just get money like that based off a of race. Right. I thought, that's wrong. I thought we put everybody supposed to get something, not just one race of people, right? Because every time black people have been getting something, people have been going to court about it and suing for black people not to get money. But notice white folks haven't went to court not one time to stop Asians from getting a dime. Just, just you. Have you noticed that? And when you, when they go to court, where's your liberal friends at? Where's the Democrat party screaming and yelling? Where's your congressional black caucus at? Where they at? Not saying a word. So what's going to happen in November, which is really a few months away, the way these months are passed, these months, I mean, I'll just, they flying, ladies and gentlemen. What are you going to do? Are you going to continue to be disrespected? Now, I understand in our community, we got a bunch of house Negroes. I get it. I get it. I get it. But the people that actually woken up now and say, oh my God, I'm never voting for these people again. I'm never voting for him again. I say, I, I, I've been made that decision. I say, no, I can never vote for these people. These people hate my community too much. But at the same time, it's not just them because all these CBC members that's up there, they go along with all of it. And one thing other groups don't have, 
versus our community, a big group of sellouts selling. Listen, the Hispanic community don't have a bunch of sellout um, politicians up there. The Asian community, they don't have no sellouts like that. The Arab community, the Jewish community, the East Indian community, they don't have all these sellouts up there like that because they own coal for their people. Of course, you know how white people are. But when it comes to black people, oh no, they got to sell us out. And they're the ones that's actually making money at the expense of black people. They, while black people suffer, they doing very, very well. All of them, all of them ain't got a hair out of place. All of them got nice fabric on their suits or their dresses. Oh, all of them look good. All of them. They getting taken care of at the expense of the masses of black people. Black people should be more angry at them going along with this mess. We didn't hear, and listen, after that, after he said all that, you didn't see the CBC come out publicly and say, hey, 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 wait a minute, hold on. What's all this fun the police mess and all this? What is that about? You didn't mention us. You didn't talk about uh, anything that we need as a community. You didn't say crap. No. They set their mouth back and they agreed with him. And it, and, and it, how can black people move forward when we got a group of people cutting our throat like that? You know, I know people talk about Joy Reid and Roland and all them, but Roland and Joy Reid, they aren't in, in, in politics like that. Now they benefit though. Oh, they get, they get their little cut. They get that. They got their cut. But this is what, this is the representation that we have. Look at this new woman that he picked. And I told y'all in the podcast, if they picked you, I don't believe you for black empowerment. If the soil picks you and they know who you are and they say, this is the person we want this one. That's different. But if they hand pick you, Oh no, I'm immediately going to think, eh, what's up? What's up with you? Let's start looking at you, who you are, where you come from. What, what's, what's going on with you? Let's, let's look at your history. Cause you, they definitely ain't going to pick nobody that's going to side with black folks or anything. But ladies and gentlemen, let me know in the comments, what you think about Joe Biden saying he's going to fund them, fund them, fund them. Many of you stood outside long lines. You risked your life in the middle of a global pandemic to vote for Joe Biden and look at the way he repays you. Let me know how you think about this.